hello friends! Hi! This is Lindsay for So Fancy. I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you are, are having a fantastic day. I hope this tutorial makes a it a little bit more fantastic because today we are showing you how you can add um, offsets to designs and text in Brother Canvas Workspace which is the design software that you use with your brother scan and cut. Now, did you know how easy it is to add an offset or sometimes called an outline or a shadow to a design or text? Um, it's just a few clicks of the mouse in Brother Canvas Workspace, super easy to do, and it really adds a lot to your designs, especially around text. So take a look at this cold tumbler. I mean, the offsets just really add so much to this personalized um, cold cup. It makes it bold and stand out. Um, I actually added two offsets and used some like holographic metallic vinyl. So you really do have a lot of design and um, creative possibilities with offsets. So go ahead and fire up your scan and cut. Um, open up Canvas Workspace and we'll go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be adding an offset to text and I've already downloaded and installed the font that I want to use for this decal on my cold tumbler. And I threw a link in the video description to a t quick tutorial of how to download and install fonts for um, working with Canvas Workspace. There's also a link um, with a more detailed a tutorial on how to work with text in Canvas Workspace because this tutorial is going to focus mainly on just how to add an offset. This font is called Lemon Day, which you can find in the Must Have Summer Bundle, only available at So Fancy. So there's a link in the description to that bundle and the font as well. And then with the text selected, go into the Edit panel and then scroll down to the bottom and click Offset. There are several customization options with the offset. Of course, the sizing or spacing, how big or how small you want it to be. You can use the up, down arrows to increase and decrease the size, or you can just type in the size that you want. You also have the option to apply the offset going outward around the object or text, or going inwards uh, into the object or text. The next option is how you want the corners of the offset to look like. If you want them rounded, then keep the selection as rounded, or if you want them sharp, then select the beveled option. Then this is cool. You have the ability to tell Canvas Workspace what to do with the original design or text that you're offsetting. You can either leave it as, as it is, delete it, or you can actually have it changed to a draw line, which is perfect for like sketch designs that you want to cut out around, uh, around it with an offset. Then this last option lets you choose if you want the offset to only go around the very outer edge of the designer text, or if you want the inner edges to even get an offset around them too. So for example, with this text, when you uncheck the box, the offset is going to be applied to the inner parts of the letters as well. If you do the offset this way, depending on the size of the offset, what you can end up with is a group of shapes. So the outer offset and then the inner bits grouped together. You can see that here in the layers panel, how that looks. If you decide later that some of the inner bits, you don't want them, you can just click on them in the layers panel and delete them. Sometimes this is a good idea if the inner bits are very small and you're going to be cutting this in um, a vinyl decal because the vinyl will just come out cleaner looking without those teeny tiny, very small cuts. Offsets are always added on top of the original. So you can see that in the layers panel, the offset group is on top of the original text. So what can happen is if you add a fill color to the offset, it can look like it's going to be covering up that original um, design or text. So all you have to do to uh, reorder that is um, click and drag that layer. And there's this blue line that'll appear as you click and drag it down. And when that blue line is under the original text, um, you can release the mouse and it's going to move that layer uh, down to the bottom. And when the design is just the way you want it, separate those two parts. I have the original on the left and the offset on the right, and then export it to your skin and cut. 
To set up your mat, arrange the vinyl pieces in the same places as they were in the virtual mat in Canvas Workspace. Here I'm using Oracal 651 permanent adhesive vinyl and some specialty metallic holographic vinyl for the offset. And these pieces are cut slightly bigger than the designs themselves. If your mat isn't very sticky anymore, you can hold down that vinyl around the edges with some blue painter's tape or some washi tape. Load the mat into the machine and then retrieve the design that you sent from Canvas Workspace to your scanning cut. Oh, and just so you know, you can add an offset to a design or text right on your scan and cut machine. So just open up that design on your scan and cut, tap to the design, click edit, and then click object edit. Then press this option right here. And then you can adjust the size of the offset you want to add. But that's about it. There's not as many options as in Canvas Workspace, but there it is if you need a simple, quick offset. To see the offset better, you can zoom in. Just tap the magnifying glass. And then I'm going to zoom in even further by tapping that plus sign. And here you can see that offset that was just added. It's always a good idea to do a test cut before actually cutting into your project. So you'll know you'll get that, that perfect cut, especially makes weeding easier when you're cutting with vinyl. And then after cutting, I still do like to do a little test weed. You just weed a small part of the design just to see that it did cut nicely, which it did. And then I can go ahead and weed out the rest of the excess vinyl. And I did end up adding a second offset um, in black vinyl, so I cut and we did that as well. Then when it comes to layering these pieces together, uh, you'll need to first um, transfer that first um, top original text layer to your transfer tape. Remember with layering vinyl, you wanna uh, work from the topmost layer down to the bottom. But lining up the rest of the offset or offsets is pretty easy because that offset creates that border you can reference to as you line up that top layer, that original text. So as long as there is that even amount of the offset peeking out from behind that top layer, then you know you've lined it up correctly. And you can use a piece of translucent parchment paper to help you line it up because the vinyl and transfer tape doesn't permanently stick to the parchment paper and you can see through it. So it's easy to move around and line it up and then um, gently flip back that um, transfer tape and vinyl, remove the parchment paper and then fold that top layer back down onto the vinyl offset. And there's a link in the video description to a tutorial about this method of layering vinyl without registration marks. Then to transfer the decal to your cold tumbler, uh, you might wanna put down a towel um, under the cup so that it's not gonna roll around on you while you're working with it. And then at first I thought about using the hinge method to apply the decal, but really it was just easier to just eyeball the placement and then press that vinyl decal firmly onto the cup, working from the middle out. You really wanna burnish it down really, really well, and then carefully remove the transfer tape and burnish it again. But then there you have that custom, personalized, super cool cold cup, and that name just really pops. It's bold, it's noticeable because of those offsets, and it was super easy to do. There you have it, friends. A small offset can make such a huge difference with your designs and text, and it can be added to just about any design and any text, so um, you can really um, make this your own project. And if you want to pick up the font that was used in this cold cup, then um, it's part of the throwback must have summer bundle at So Fancy. There's a link in the description. So you can make your own cold cup or whatever you want. It's your world, my friends. Make it crafty. This is Lindsay for So Fancy. Have a great rest of your day and until next time. Bye.